Hello everybody out there in the bookverse, it's Stephanie and today I am back with an unboxing and I am going to open Cherry Wallace's Curation of Magical Curiosities box and this is the edition that gets the extra stuff in it. I'm really not positive what that's, I don't remember what that's called, like the mega edition or something like that. But yes, this has been a long time coming. It's really... I don't know. It really gets me excited for the boxes when I have been waiting for months for them and finally I like I get my confirmation email and then I get my shipping email and then I'm tracking it and it's just it's very exciting for me. And this one comes from the UK. So, it took quite a while to get here. So, the suspense has built. I've already seen two people that I follow post their unboxing of this. My friend, I got her one for Christmas and she's already opened hers, so it's about time. I gotta open mine. So if you're new to my channel though, welcome. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you want to be a part of my little book first I have going on here, you can hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the bell icon so you're alerted when I post new videos. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to jump into this. So let's just go. Popping it open. Oh, right on top. There's a little card that says, Happy Christmas, Neville. Interesting, I wonder why they went with that, but it's just a little Christmas card for Neville, it looks like. It's a little note from Cherry on the back. That's very cute. Oh, some festively Christmas wiggly worms that are going to be moved aside. Oh, looks like everything, let me show you. It looks, like the things in the box are all wrapped for Christmas, which I think is just adorable. You know, before we get into the presents, I know, sorry, I, this came in the package as well. So I think I'm just going to open this first and see what we have. Maybe. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm bad at opening things, okay? Here we go. Got it. It is an advertising poster for the Yule Ball, I believe. At the second wand stroke, Yule Beverage will be served. At the first wand stroke, lead your partner to the dance floor. At the third wand stroke, Yule, Fe Yule Feast will be served. Uh, fourth, Witch and Wizard of the Ball will be announced. And the sixth, final Yule Dance and good night to all your special guests. And oops, the fifth was Yule Parade of Wand Skills. So it's a little advertisement, kind of like when you have your... Um, prom advertisements or things like that. It's a little Yule Ball advertisement. That's so cute. I really, really like this replica. I feel like that's definitely something that would be hanging out, especially in the fourth year. So, okay, starting off good. I like it. Maybe I'll hang that up as a little festive decoration. Because as you can see, I've started decorating, so I'm filming in a different location. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I feel like the light behind me is a little weird, but we're going with it. Okay, first box. I love that everything is like opening a box within a box, this little extra presents. Oh, okay. I'm bad at it. Oh, it's a Rememberall. That is really cute. It's a little Rememberall like the one that Neville had that helps you to remember if there's something you've forgotten. I actually believe that another box just did one of these recently as well. So it's kind of cool. Cute little idea. I really like that a lot. Setting it to the side. Next box. There seems to be so much in here. I'm really excited. Next Christmassy box that I'm going to open. Pulling it out. Oh, this is beautiful. Ooh, don't rip it. Don't rip it. It's a winged key Christmas ornament. Okay. Look at that. That is just awesome. Oh, I love it. I love this item. This is so cool. And the key is actual metal. The wings are kind of this thin plastic, almost like, so they look dragonfly-ish. This is amazing. I love it. Okay, on to the next one. I'm just like, oh, I can't stop. <laughs> this one has a little king thing on it. Is it going to be a chess piece? <gasps> it is a chess piece. No, it's a solid one too. Is it wood? I don't know, but it's a 
like a chess piece from the wizard's set. Looks like it's the queen. Looks like she is potentially tired, <laughs> like sticking her hand on the side. I don't know, maybe she's falling asleep. Maybe she's really bored of the game they're playing. Okay, next one, can't stop. Aw, this is very cute, very festive and Christmassy. Let's get it out of the package so you can see it. It's an enamel pin, hard enamel, and it has a, as you can see, it has a little, oop, we'll focus on the wreath. It has an H up there for Harry Potter, a snitch, a lightning bolt. There's a little Deathly Hallows on there. This is very cute. I like it. It's a little big for my taste, uh, but I think it is beautiful. It's so well made. It's very, very nice pin. Definitely add that to my collection that I'm really getting a lot of. Ooh, okay, pulling out Happy Christmas Harry, Happy Christmas Ron. Well, let's see what we got in this box. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. They're little gloves. Ooh, that's upside down. They're, they're upside down. They're gloves with R and H, like the sweaters that Ron and Harry got for Christmas. Oh, that's such a cute idea. I love them. Oh my gosh, I love these gloves. I love them. Okay, taking them off, taking them off. Must continue with the opening. I'm apparently bad at taking gloves off too. I just struggle all around. Okay, next item we are going to pull out is this that is bubble wrapped so i'm expecting something pretty breakable oh, <laughs> okay okay so it looks like it might be also yule ball themed it looks honestly like it might be aladdin themed but let's see come on what is this I don't even know what this is but it's wait is this like is this is this supposed to be a pumpkin juice bottle from the Yule Ball I think it is I think it's a special pumpkin juice bottle from the Yule Ball does this oh, it's, it's glass it's very solid well made okay this is absolutely gorgeous I don't know if you can see it very well but oh my goodness this is beautiful I think this is what it is I think I'm gonna have to read the spoiler card but I'm pretty sure that's what it is ah that's exciting okay next one. Oh my gosh this is cute this is very cute it's a little Shudley Cannons team pennant. Is that what they're called? Pennants? I don't know, actually. You know what? I have absolutely no clue. We're going to have to look this up. I'll write it down, little flag. Chudley Cannons, that's Ron's favorite Quidditch team, if you didn't know. Okay, I'm le I've been trying to leave this one for last because I think it looks the prettiest. So we're just going to wait for a second more wiggly worms and we have an envelope but I want to get to the art print first pull that out okay that's the the guide here's our art print and I believe it's the howler Yes, okay, so this is the howler that Ron received from his mother when he stole a flying car yep yeah this is really nice i don't know why it's in the christmas themed box though but i do really like it it doesn't it's not signed anywhere that i can find so i'm not sure who the artist is i'll have to look that up i don't know who made it but it is very nicely done it's a nice art print i just don't know that it's so much christmas themed which isn't necessarily a huge idea or isn't necessarily a huge deal but it's cool Okay, and the envelope, it's really, it's kind of a shiny material, I don't, I doubt you can see it on there, but, okay, so 
it's Yule, says Yule Ball there. It looks like Aladdin. And then when you open it up, it's like an invitation to the Yule Ball, I believe. Let me look closer at it. Yeah, it's an invitation to the Yule Ball uh, from Hogwarts and the Ministry of Magic. And I'm, I'm guessing this would go out maybe to people who weren't at Hogwarts, like when they're gonna invite Percy or whoever they're inviting. So that's really cool, that's a cool replica. And now for this package that I've been saving till last because I'm excited for it. Oh, I see. It's a hand knitted scarf. I'm guessing this kind of goes along with Mrs. Weasley. Ooh. Oh, it smells really, really gross, but that's okay. <laughs> what is that smell? I just, I don't know what the smell is. I'm sorry. I'll have to read the spoiler card and see, but that's what we're on to now is the spoiler card. So here it is. It looks like this if you wanted to see it. Okay. So we have the Molly Weasley knitted scarf. So it's like the ones given to Fred and George during Christmas dinner at number 12 Grimald Place in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So I can feel like part of the family now. I like it. The flying key ornament. So, oh wait, there's a Deathly hallow symbol on the flying key ornament. Oh man, now I have to find it again. It's buried, here we go, here we go. Where's the Deathly Hallows? Oh, that's cute, do you see it? It's right up here. Very nice, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, the wizard chess piece, so. This is a replica of one of the Queen pieces you see Harry and Ron playing with at Christmas in 1991, so their first year. And it's totally barbaric. Okay, the Howler artwork. Oh, this was painted, this was painted by Cherry. So this is her artwork. She sent a piece of her own artwork in the last box, and so she obviously sent one again, which is really awesome. I love it. There's the Remembral, um... Keep it out of muggle hands and don't let Draco take it. So yes, sweet. A Chudley Cannon's Quidditch team flag is what they call it, which we have here. Um, Yule Ball Invitation. Oh, it was designed by Danny from Muggle Magic DIY, who I absolutely love because he designed the covers that Accio Box was sending for the Harry Potter books. Love that. Okay, Hogwarts wreath enamel pin. Yes, it's gorgeous, I love it. Um, the Yule Ball bottle. Yes, so this is a replica of the pumpkin juice bottles that were around the sculpt ice sculptures at the Yule Ball. So that is an awesome item. It asked them here, like, do you think you'd like pumpkin juice? No, I've had it. Not a fan, actually. Um, Harry and Ron Christmas gloves. Love those. That is such a cool item. And the Yule Ball poster, which is in here. Oh, this is called the Maxima Box. Sorry. That's what it is. And yes, Yule Ball poster. That was also done by Danny from um, Uncle Magic DIY, which he's amazing. He's so artistic. I love it. I love this box. I think this is probably the best Harry Potter subscription box that I have actually ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased because I love Cherry. Like, this is an amazing box. I love the scarf. Gonna be wearing that. Oh, it's like choking me. I absolutely love the flying key ornament. I love the rememberal. It is made of plastic. I'm gonna be honest, I would like it a little better if it was made out of glass, but I understand that shipping a glass rememberal to everyone, they're probably gonna get broken. So fair enough, yes. I like the look, honestly, I love every item. I don't really feel like there's an item in here that I think is a not very strong item. I think they're all great. We have some beautiful replicas. Uh, we have, Things that, just little things that you see in the movies and in the books. And I think that is such a cherry touch because she loves those little details and she loves making replicas that actually look like the things in the book and making them good quality. I love that there's things I'm gonna actually be using during the winter, the scarf, the gloves for sure, because I ran a marathon and when I threw my bag with all my stuff to the side, my gloves got lost because they dumped the bag out and then I had to Anyways, long story short, lost my gloves. So glad to have new ones. I guess if I were to pick my least favorite item out of this box, I'd probably go with the enamel pin just because it is 
quite large and I'm not really that into the big ones. Also, it's very, I don't know. It's just a little fancy, I think, for my taste. I, this is a complete personal preference though because it is gorgeous. I do think that it is really well made. I love the details on it. So yeah, please let me know what you guys think. If you got this box, let me know what your favorite items are, what you're super excited about. Uh, comment, let me know down in the comments what you think about the box in general. Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it wasn't? Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see the rest of my stuff that I post and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Happy Christmas.